welcome back to our channel. I am Uzinke. Today, call me Shim Zinke. Okay, welcome back to our channel, The Mlangenis. You do want to know of the one house rule, and that is to click that button over there, the red one that is written subscribe. Join the family, Sibe Sonke, Sibe Imbumba. So, if you're a returning MC, guys, welcome back. So, as you can see, I'm in the kitchen today because. You know, it's not like I'm not in the kitchen, but today I'll be sharing a very quick and easy meal to prepare. So work has been very hectic for us ever since this lockdown. We are working from home, and thank God, but it's so hectic. So you need to be creative and think, when I'm done, as I'm exercising, what can I quickly put together, but it must still be very long. because you know potatoes take a bit longer to be ready depending on the types of potatoes you are using so I'll just chop these up and put them in the pot and while they are boiling move over to my spinach so let's do it And the chopping continues now chop your spinach make sure it is all clean and washed then you chop 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 after you are done with your spinach go over and chop that onion if you have to wear sunglasses because you don't want to cry do that does it do that okay Voila! Now to season your chicken breast, use any spice that you like. I used garlic because I love the taste of garlic in my food. It's one of my favorite ingredients. So yeah, man, just measure whichever way, whichever amount, just hoi in there. And then I also use the infamous, infamous raja. Are you even cooking if you don't have raja? Khoi some raja there. Make sure it's nicely seasoned. Every breast has something, something. And what I also used is some cayenne pepper. Of course, it is chicken. So I use the Portuguese chicken spice from Robertson's. And not only that, but the normal chicken spice. and we chop again chop your mushrooms make sure they are nice and thick so that you can taste them when you're having your creamy spinach with mushroom after you're done with your mushrooms get on with that cheese great enough for your spinach just use your own measurement my favorite part is the chicken toothpick bacon and some sliced cheese you also need your chicken obviously then just place your chicken take the sliced cheese open it nicely divide it into two put one on top and one at the bottom get your bacon ready to wrap your chicken breast uh, open it nicely make sure that you have um, everything opened up and you are able to wrap it around wrap 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 around be gentle because you want your cheese to be kept inside to hold everything together you're going to put your tooth pick You don't want to waste any of that seasoning. Take that seasoning and put it on top of your chicken. Girl, guy, do it. Don't waste it. Put it nicely on top. And once you are done, 
put the chicken in the oven, set it for 10 to 15 minutes and wait. Now to mash everything up. Mash, 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 mash. Now let's get to our last ingredient when it comes to our creamy spinach. Cheese, yum. Put some cheese, close it up, let it soak in until it's like beautiful, not for too long. Then um, open it up and then obviously the last thing you're going to add is your cream. Not too much cream because it's going to be watery. Disclaimer, mine was watery. Oh my gosh. guys thank you so much for tuning in and just like that our meal was ready i cannot wait to eat it i cannot wait for mr mlangeni to be like ah, i'm the one <laughs> like however my spinach was not that creamy i miscalculated with the cheese it's fine i'm sure it still tastes nice and i didn't use the flour as you could as you would have seen and that flour is just gonna make everything come together but it's fine we lose some, we win some. But otherwise, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, comment below. What do you think about this meal? And if you are going to prepare it, please tag me and show me that you did this. It's very easy. But otherwise, guys, thank you so much for cooking with me. Until next time, guys, bye.